Welcome to the ITU studio in Geneva, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Isven Sebastian, who is former Secretary General of ECMA International, a key member of the original engineering team responsible for the development of the first edition of JPEG, and also has uh, close ties to ITU, being a former CCITT Special Rapporteur. Isven, welcome to the studio. <coughs> Thank you very much. Now, I'd like to start off by talking about something very special that has happened. The engineering team has been awarded an Emmy for their outstanding contribution uh, to image coding. So looking here very much at uh, JPEG, I wanted to ask you, how did it all start? First of all, congratulations. <coughs> so first of all, thank you very much, not for me, but for the entire team. It was a large team and also several organizations who have cooperated with each other. Now, I'd like to start off by asking you, how did it all start? And what's the story behind the development of JPEG-1, or also known mm -hmm. as ITU-T.81? Uh, dot um, Well, the, the, the story actually, it is a long story, so I try to be very brief. So it was in the beginning of 1986 when uh, ISO TC-97, SC2, etc., and also CCITT Study Group 8, uh, have recognized that in the area of image coding, there, there is an uh, absolutely common application and common interest to get together. Now from the CCITT study group eight point of view, there were five, five or six different application areas or questions which had incorporated in some form or the other also uh, um, images. On the ISO, uh, ISO side, there were less, but basically, it was video text, photographic mode, those type of, th of things on the ISO side. And so, so we had really a common goal uh, to come together and actually also many of the members of the group, um, at, at least 60 or 70 percent of, uh, of, of both sides, they came from telecommunications, from the telecommunications side. So either uh, manufacturers or operators. So we had a lot of common things and then we have decided, okay, so why don't we then join our forces and then develop together a uh, standard uh, for, for, uh, for continuous stone color images. So that was the starting point. Now for the common work between ITU and ISO, it already existed at that time several projects in parallel, which I do not want to name, but one of them, of, of this common project was this, this uh, JPEG uh, project. The problem was that at that point in time, there were no uh, common rules for the joint working and was also there was no common, uh, common template for the standard. So we were actually uh, the first or before the first for the common rules who have uh, designed our own, uh, own uh, rules and policies. And for the, for the text, uh, there was already um, the, the joint text uh, template uh, format. So we have applied that. So this all started in 86. It was absolutely from both organization and informal group because the rules have not existed. And uh, so I, as a special rapport and also my partner from ISO, we were responsible to bring in the requirements from the IT and the ISO side. Then this independent group, they worked, they came out in the end with a specification. And then we have taken this specification back to the ITU and also to respectively to ISO. And then the formal approval process started and, and, uh, and then it became standard in ITU in 1992. We were faster, long story. And then ISO came out one and a half year later because uh, they had this traditional approval procedure. So, so this is in, in brief, uh, you know, the, the history of, of how it, it started to happen. It's difficult to think of a standard as well known as JPEG. The words JPEG and photograph have become perfect substitutes. In your view, what has been the secret to JPEG's success? First of all, we didn't expect, to be, to be honest. So we thought, you know, that maybe this standard would be the first generation of that sort. Maybe it would last for, for, for six, seven years, and then the next generation would come, which is true. It came, but the next generation was not as successful as this one. So there were a couple of, of components that honestly speaking, we did not see. So the first component, which made it extremely successful uh, was incidentally, you know, the CCITT requirements uh, side from this all different application that we came to a, uh, to a design, which was a toolbox type of, of design. So this toolbox element actually was so flexible that you could also apply it for medical images, for 
for for for all all different type of images, even motion JPEG images, etc. So it was extremely flexible. The design. This was one of the reasons. The second reason was that it was immediately, as the specification became available, picked up by an open source group, by the so-called independent JPEG group. They have picked up the ISO ver uh, the, the version from ISO because it went into, into two different places, as I mentioned to you. And they have created within a year, so much earlier than what when we came out with our standard and ISO came out with the standard, already a code which they uh, immediately put it on the internet, everybody could download it, everybody could implement it, maybe not the best application, you know, but for a starter it was good. So that was the first killer application, the uh, successful link with the open source community. The next one, which we also uh, didn't uh, see, is that the World Wide Web uh, needed, from the very, very beginning, early 92 already, they needed a still picture coding standard. So they, they knew it, that this existed, so they have immediately taken it over. So the second was this. The, the third one was, which we absolutely didn't expect, that it would kill uh, one of the components for the killing the, the analog uh, photography. And then at the year 2000, then it turned out that it killed. The, uh, so then everybody started to take pictures using uh, JPEG. As I said, we didn't expect it. The next one, killer application, we also didn't expect, and that was with the smartphone. So with the Apple iPhone, etc. So that suddenly, you know, this type of applications and that's also social network, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, uh, uh, JPEG and the JPEG pictures were absolutely key. And uh, so today we have in that area uh, five billion mobile phones that are taking just the mobile phone taking pictures and many more pictures than the analog cameras would. So, so really with that, that, you know, JPEG is absolutely dominated. It's JPEG one is absolutely dominating the, 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 the still picture making or market. You say JPEG-1. Yeah, that was uh, the first in the series. So it's, th there's a whole family of JPEG, is that right? Yes, and they are still working on JPEG. Uh, obviously, it is now very, very difficult to, uh, to, to make that success again, because as I, s yeah, so this is a killer uh, uh, standard in that sense, but on, on certain segments, uh, professional segments, and new area, and security feature, light field, et cetera, et cetera. So they are still working, and actually together also with the ITU. So the ITU is still involved in, in it, and, and but everything now is called JPEG. Like you've said, JPEG is the, the most successful image uh, coding standard on the market. What yeah. do you see for the future of JPEG-1? This one will never disappear, in my opinion, because uh, Every year, one trillion pictures are being created, and this already for 20 years. So if you go back to the history of, of taking photography, all the 150 years, then practically already the JPEG-1 standard for normal photography, etc., it is already dominating the area. So there are so many pictures that you cannot get rid of it anymore. You cannot convert it to a new format, whatever. And people are very much interested, of course, you know, to see the ancestors and then how was it when I was young, et cetera, et cetera. So for this reason, in my uh, opinion, I, I say that this is one of the so-called human heritage standards. And the human heritage standard, especially it is connected to some content, it will, in my opinion, not go away. So you will have it in 100 years, 200 years. It's a different type of standard, like, I don't know, 3G, 4G, 5G. So that one is being replaced, but this one not. JPEG one will live, live on and on, and uh, I'm <coughs> I can say obviously uh, wholeheartedly that the the Emmy is a, a great accolade, and I'm sure very <coughs> well deserved. Thank you very much indeed for joining us in the studio and, and sharing these these lovely insights with us. And uh, hopefully, uh, as I say, we will catch up with you uh, some stage uh, some stage in the future, and you'll be able to tell me about some other success story too. Yeah. So thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>